That's really cool. Did you make that yourself? Like to make it open and stuff? Wow, how'd you do that? Did you put a motor on the two motors and I put my linkage. Oh, okay. That's ill, bro. And, it, and there's like still a lot of space yeah. for everything. I mean it's a tight fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so cool. And then you made all the armor yourself too? <laughs> for sure, for sure. Well dang, thanks for showing man. That's what's up. Yeah man. Pretty slow. But yeah, like I said, traffic is picking up. Um, and hopefully people will buy later on during the day. I think it's like, it's me too. Like uh, usually it's really, really slow towards the beginning. And then at the end, when people like decide they wanted to buy like certain things or when people decide uh, what they want, then they come back and buy, right? So, yeah, hopefully it picks up later on, but as of right now, it's pretty weak. All right, so that's a wrap for day two. Today was garbage, like, to be honest. Granted, it wasn't as many hours as yesterday. Yesterday was from nine till seven, and so today was from 10 till five, which is standard, like, it's usually shorter on the last day but yeah there were just no no sales i think it was like the same amount of people as yesterday um if not less but this is no one was really buying you know and i was asking everybody else around me too and it was kind of like the same deal um everybody was kind of struggling it wasn't the best show i'm not sure what the factors are other than the, the things that i said yesterday but um yeah i don't know if it's like a time of year or something like that or people want to save up for something else. But I don't know, man. Uh, the switch up in my display that I did, I don't know if I liked it. I don't know if it worked or not, or if it made it worse. Just because having everything lower, like not eye level to everybody was kind of weird. Uh, so I might, I might switch things up either in the next convention or like for Ronin Expo. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, another thing to note or not note or another thing to emphasize is um, to not pack up early because uh, you know, some people were packing up early like 15 minutes ago. And if I did, I would have missed out on uh, a sale like super duper last minute at like 4.59 some dude came up and he wanted to buy three prints so you know I wouldn't have had that sale if I were to wrap up early and I'm very fortunate that I don't have that much stuff and it doesn't take me very long to uh, to clean up but just for like you know for anybody that is thinking about doing something like this um, yeah that's not a good habit to get into right because I feel like once you start getting into the habit of wrapping up 15 minutes early, then it gets easier and easier um, at every convention. Because usually what happens is nobody buys in the beginning, at least for me, nobody buys in the beginning, right? And then towards the middle of the convention, there's a little spike because there's a spike in traffic. So naturally people are going to buy more. And then towards like the mid, like from the middle, and this is the beginning, Right, nobody buys, and then the middle, it goes up. And then towards like the middle end, it, it gets lower, but not as low as the beginning, right? Because once people start leaving, then they come back and like figure out what prints that they want, and then they buy. And then towards the end, it really dies off, but then you still get those like last, last minute sales. So, you know, 
just something to keep in mind. It's kind of like one of these. Um, I forgot what that's called. I didn't really pay attention in math, but you know, one of those uh, when it comes to traffic. Yeah, so I don't know, like a convention like this, you know, it's the first uh, Comic-Con that I've done. And would I do a Comic-Con again? Uh, I'm not sure, maybe. <coughs> oh my God. Um, yeah, um, I might. Uh, I might not do this one again, but I might do other like bigger ones um, just to see how it is. Cause honestly, there wasn't that many like guests. Actually, I don't really know. Cause I didn't really check it out, but from the, the the things that I've been hearing from like customers and stuff, there wasn't that many uh, like guests. There wasn't that many things to do. So yeah, but it is only their third year, so I don't know if that's like enough to say. They said attendance-wise, it's gotten bigger, so that's a thing. But you know, it is what it is. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't like we we didn't really reach that that threshold that we usually reach. We've got we got all of our expenses back, um, and then some, right? But just not like that usual like average that we get, um, especially for a two day show. And on top of that, like maybe my expectations was like different because I thought that it was a three day show, and I miss EDC of course. So backstory. Early in the year, I got an offer to perform at EDC as an extra, and I had declined that offer because it was the same weekend as Comic-Con Revolution. So sadly, now that I'm doing the vlog and editing it and everything like that, I'm now realizing that it definitely wasn't worth it. I probably would have had a better time and made more money at EDC. But it's one of those sacrifices that comes with the territory and uh, you just got to figure out what you want to do. You'll notice that there's not too much recording in this episode because a lot of the footage was deleted um, during the transfer process from my phone to the software on the computer. And so that's why it's been super discouraging to make these videos. But you know, kind of kind of catching up and uh, getting ready for August. And so thanks for all that shit. But, you know, it is, it is what it is. Thanks for like, you know, watching and staying through this whole time. Shout out to uh, Linda and Glenn that were next to me. They're pretty cool people. Linda does uh, watercolor and she works for DreamWorks so her and her boyfriend Sean was next to me and then Glenn was on the other side and he is a like comic book writer so it was really cool to like chop it up with them uh, while I was here that's one cool thing about like pretty much all the conventions that I've been to your neighbors are like they're really really cool people you know you just have to like you know just talk to them but I've definitely had conventions where you know you don't really talk to the people next to you and it's also cool to like talk business with the other with the other vendors right especially the ones that uh, sell different things so you kind of get different ideas of like what to sell or like how the convention is going and, and shit like that so um, so yeah so it's getting pretty loud because everybody's packing up but I just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I'll try to have this video done ASAP because Fanime is next week. And uh, I feel like I'm going to be recording a lot. Fanime, um, yeah. You want to get some bofa? Some what? Bofa. What's that? Bofa these nuts. Oh my ah! god. Fuck out of here. Peace. <laughs>